Uh, well, luckily it's a late game tomorrow night, uh, and for me also, um, I got a chance to sit early on, so I, I'm not as beat as the other guys. But I know Pascal, Kawhi, they played oh, damn near an hour uh, last night, so that's gonna be tough on them. But um, they get a lot of treatment today. I'll watch some film, some treatment tomorrow probably as well. But you know, the taking care of the body, the, taking care of the body starts right after the game. You know, a lot of guys are getting massages, cold tub, you know, all those things, etc. So hopefully that'll help. But you know, playoffs about you know who's gonna want it more. Everybody knows each other's sets. Everybody knows each other's plays and, and, and tendencies. So um, you know, we got to come out and want it more. And I think the biggest thing for us is, is rebounding and, and getting back in transition. Um, unfortunately, we had some foul trouble last game. Hope we can keep some guys out uh, of foul trouble. You know, Mark had five, Kalo fouled out, Norm fouled out, Pascal probably had, you know, four or five. Um, so I'll take it upon myself to be a little more physical and try to take some of their fouls. But if we can limit our fouls as much as possible and keep them off the line at the same time, it would be great for us. I mean, that's how they're supposed to feel, but we didn't play well either. <laughs> you know, um, for us, I, I think we kind of survived that game with how poorly we shot the ball. Now, we haven't had a great shooting game as a team the whole series, but, um, you know, I, I, I'm expecting we'll shoot better in game four, not going not gonna to win, but um, I think me, Fred, Serge had some pretty clean looks, some decent ones. Obviously, some were not that clean, but we had some clean ones that just didn't drop for us. Uh, you know, Kalo, Pascal, Mark, Mark hit some for us, but you know, even some of the ones that we did miss, I said we collectively, I don't think we shot greatly. And as great as Kawhi played for us and willed us to a win, you know, he didn't have a start, a great shooting night to start. So, um, you know, with that being said, I don't think both teams played greatly, but I don't think they were off. Um, I think they shot the ball from three, even. Well, I guess considering you know, Brogdon, George Hill, they shot the ball from three pretty well. Uh, Connaughton, a lot of those guys. I mean, I'm sure they're expecting more out of Giannis uh, offensively. But um, I think our guys did a good job of not letting him get to the paint as much and, and kind of keeping him off the free throw line at the same time. Actually, <clears throat> For sure, and I, I think we all knew last night was a our back against the wall, do or die type of game. If we lose that one, it, it's tough to come back from a 3-0, um, you know, series. I don't think anybody's ever done it, but um, you know that's why we had him start on Giannis from the jump, and he, you know, wanted that assignment. So he he's guarding Giannis on that end of the floor and trying to keep him out of paint. And offensively, you know, he's carrying the load, but I think he's kind of picking, choosing the spots and, and understanding how they're guarding him and, and finding and making plays not just for himself but for other guys. And that's why we're getting so many good, open, clean looks. Uh, we just have to knock him down. Um, so myself, especially, uh, you know, Fred, me, me, Fred, Serge. I think we'll step up. Hopefully, make some more shots next game, and hopefully, we can continue to have Norm shoot the way he's been shooting. Uh, Kalo uh, and, and said, you know, why is gonna do what why does, but. Pascal, if he keeps attacking and hitting his corner threes, it'll make us very tough. In the Orlando series, you have said that when you get worried when your legs are really in your shot, mm -hmm. uh, and that wasn't a concern then. Uh, is that even concerning you about your shot now, other than the results? No. Um, I mean, it's just part of the game. Sometimes you, you get good looks, sometimes you miss them. Um, you know, I didn't think I had a great rhythm in terms of the last game, but um, you know, sometimes it happens that way. There's no concerns right now. I just I think some of them I, I were off balance. Some of them may be rushed, uh, but for the most part, you know, I just missed. You know, got to got to keep taking those shots confidently. Then the next one for me, I I told them, you know, Nick, you know, to stick with me. Um, you know, I had one in chamber form at some point. Uh, luckily, it came and he, you know, he called my number. You know, um, for a coach to do that, and have the confidence in me to be what offered eight at the time to to actually, you know, hit the next one or call play call for me in, in double OT, I think it was, and um, you know, one went in, so it, it felt good, and hopefully that, that starts a rhythm for or a build for next game. Were you surprised to get that play call? Yes, I was. <laughs> I was very surprised. What's your What's your thinking? Okay, you know that 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 screen is coming. And you're 
I have to I have to give a lot of credit to my uh, past history coaches for maturing me not just as an adult but as a basketball professional. Uh, you know Chad Forcey or Will Hardy, those guys every day were just telling me, you know, don't worry about the last shot. You know, think about the next shot because that next one could be a big one. You can be 0 for 9 and nobody cares or remember it because that 1 for 10, that one shot could be a game-changing 3 or a game-changing, uh, you know, pull-up or whatever it may be. So if you're too worried about the last shot, you're not going to make the next one. So, you know, I, so my coaches did a great job of helping me mature as an adult and a professional uh, shooter. Uh, to not let those other shots be in my mind when I was so when I came off the screen I didn't think twice I just said you know the next one's going and that I mean that's how all of my shots I think anyway I try to think you know the next one's going and I can't put any doubt in my mind you got to shoot with confidence but that last one for sure um, I had to make sure I tried to get that one to go in. And are you feeling are you thinking consciously about every little piece of your shot? No. <laughs> It happens. Uh, you think Steph thinks about every piece of his shot when he uh, misses a couple? I don't think so. I mean, even the greatest in the world have some slumps or miss some shots or games where they're off. Um, you just, it has nothing to do with your technique. It's just you missing them or not being in rhythm or you just have an off day. Um, but for the most part, my thing is, regardless if I'm making shots or not, I have to find other ways to impact the game. And that's whether either blocking shots, getting rebounds, getting steals, or being active defensively, or getting on the offensive glass and trying to push people, or try to get tip outs, uh, or creating space by running the floor and giving those guys lanes to attack the rim. So um, regardless of that fact, obviously I would love to make shots. I think we all would. And they, my teammates would love to make shots too. So I'm going to do my best to try to help them. I need to help them. But um, you know, I've got to find other ways to impact the game. I think you have to ask them. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't have the conversation. Um, but I think it was a discussion between among coaches and players. And, you know, we figured. And also, you know, Pascal, not saying he can't guard Giannis, but we just knew that they were, he was getting some foul, foul trouble. And we need to keep him in the game and needed him on the offensive end of the floor as well. It took some pressure off him on the offensive end of the floor. So, um, I mean, Obviously, we were going to have multiple guys guarding Giannis anyway because they're just setting screens. We're switching. But to start, um, you know, we, we had Kawhi on him just to be able to pick him up a little higher. When I think guards are able to pick him up a little higher. Um, it, it makes it harder. It takes it longer for him to get to the basket where we can have some help side. That's their opinion. They felt like they didn't play well. We didn't play well either. Um, both teams shot under 40%. Kyle, the adjustment of Kawhi, uh, how long did it Uh, you know, you got Kawhi. He's one of the. He probably is the best two-way defend uh, basketball player in, in the NBA, uh, and uh, you know, kind of takes a little bit of uh, the help off of Giannis and let Kawhi play one-on-one. -on -one, but um, just give him different looks, give him different bodies. I mean, I think like four or five different guys guarded him last night. So just give him different looks and different bodies and um, different areas and situations, so he doesn't get too comf try to make him un you know not as uncomfortable and unpredictable as we can possibly be. If you guys make it difficult for Giannis, whoever's guarding, what's that do to the rest of the Bucks offense? I mean, they got great players. They got guys that have been there before. They got guys that are all stars. They got guys that can score. So you know, just you know, everything's not all Giannis. You know, they have good, really good guys. I mean, uh, Georgia had 24 and Brogdon had 20 last night. Um, game two, Ilya Sova had big. You know, they got a bunch of good guys that can make plays and, and they can play basketball. Kyle, how are you feeling physically and mentally today? I'm feeling great. Happy to be alive. Kyle, what steps do you guys take to go through from 24 hours live until the next day? Double overtime, and you know, what you play? Yeah, I ain't played much last night. I'm good to go. Um, <laughs> Just uh, recover after the game, you know, get some food and get some rest. Come in, you know, prepare yourself, watch film, and it's all about recovery right now. Rest is your body. Uh, rest as much as your body needs it to rest. Um, you know, coach has done a great job this year of letting us kind of figure out what we need to get done and get shots up. If you need to get shots up, get rest, treatment. Um, be a professional. Be a pro.
I mean, no one at this time of the season is 100%, but you can get to a point where, you know, you feel good and go into the next game. You know, at the end of the day, adrenaline takes over. You know, your job is your job, and adrenaline takes over. Your preparation takes over. Um, so you'll be, you know, you're ready to go for tomorrow. Kyle, the experience that Pascal's going through right now, highs, lows, just gaining that experience at this point in his career, how beneficial can that be for a young player going forward? Oh, it's going to be huge for him um, going forward, but, you know, he's standing in the moment right now. All he's worried about is, is game four, and which is a good thing. You know, game three is over, game whatever from last year, all that's over. All he's preparing for is game four now, and um, the experiences that he'll learn will just take him and, and just continue to grow. Uh, it was a, we had to try to win that game, game four. And that's what we got to do tomorrow is try to win game four. Kyle, when you're talking about mind over matter and putting bumps and bruises aside, how do you deal with that bum when you're in the, in the flow of the game? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is what it is. I gotta, um, it's going to hurt. It's going to be sore. But you um, got to push through. Um, at this time of year, you just got to push through no matter what, you, what you're going to go through. And um, just got to make, make things happen however you can. How often do you consciously notice it? Well, when it hurts every time I do something, yeah, you notice it. <laughs> Get hit, you know, stuff like that. But pretty much, pretty much but whatever. You got to be mind over matter, man. Does that keep you from, like, maybe digging in on trying to get steals or... Yeah, it does. Like yes, it does. Yeah. But whatever. How much does that change the way you're to protect it? How much does it change the way you have to play? Um, obviously, it's not helping because I'm fouling out. So, yeah, um, I got to figure out how to be able to use the other hand just as effective. Um, it just make, you know, just, you know, you got to be a little bit more cautious on it. It definitely is something that you think about, but it really doesn't matter, honestly. It's their job, you know what I mean? It's our team, you know, it's next man up, you know, and like I said, every opportunity um, the next man has and take advantage of, and we're a team. We're not just one guy. We're, we're a group of guys that's put together individually to make a team, and that's what we've done. Um, you know, we've formed a good team, and um, every guy is going to always be ready to step up and ready to go. A couple uh, transition opportunities helped loosen up the offense late tonight in that game last night, but what can you guys do in the half court to sort of um, get free considering the way they're, they're defending you guys? Uh, screen hard, cut hard, um, take the shots that are there. Um, I think that's the one thing that we did last night, a good job of um, taking the, the first available shots and then if it's not there, moving the ball side to side and um, look their length and the way they commit to the, the paint is, you know, that's, that's their strength. And uh, we got to make moves and make plays to get to the paint, kick out, you know, try to get shots off. You've been trying to get early offense. Um, you got to be smart. You still got to take shots, and against a team, you don't want to turn the ball over. And that's one thing they thrive off of turnovers. And um, you know, you just got to take the the best shots, even if the shots come within four seconds of the shot clock. If there's a good shot, you have to take it. You know, and you got to be smart about it and make the right plays. But you can't, you know, be timid. You got to be aggressive at all times. There's a similar balance has to be uh, when we're trying to attack the offensive glass. Yeah, I mean, we're. we're when we, you know, we take four shots and we're in situations where, you know, we let them get out and we're not, we're too low or we don't take the first available shot, we're crashing. You know, we're just, this is a team that you want to keep out of transition. You want to keep, you know, Giannis and Bledsoe, um, and Middleton, those guys out of transition. Uh, you want to be back and be, you know, show those, show those guys bodies. And, um, you know, that's why sometimes taking that first shot, it may be early, but you got four other, three other guys back already.